Hey everybody, welcome back to A Sweet Journey. I'm Sonya, also known as Sweets. And today is day two of 21 days and I committed that I would record for 21 days straight. And so this is my attempt at that. I um, wanna talk today a little bit about the mind. And if you remember from uh, yesterday's video, and if you don't, I can maybe make a link down in the description box I really don't know I'm totally new to this but I will try but in Oprah's 2020 vision uh, tour she talked about the mind comprising three areas that we should make sure we are well in one of them is in our learning one is in our um, emotions and the other is at work and as you can see I am at work right now so we are in a work at home situation due to coronavirus and so um, I'm a work at home employee anyway. I, my role, I work from home. So I thought, why not give some tips on how I kind of have my mind together for a work at home environment? Because what you're doing is you're blending your home and your work into one environment. And sometimes that's a little bit challenging. So I have five tips for you that I want to share that kind of help me do what I do better. Okay. Tip number one, you have to have a beginning of the day routine. Uh, for me, what helps now, and I just started this since the tour because I am um, looking to be well, like whole and complete, lacking nothing. So I want my mind, my emotions, my heart, my, my actions, I want it all aligned and I want it to be aligned in a good place. And so in the morning I get up, I come downstairs, I go into my prayer closet and I meditate, pray, read the scriptures, read um, a book. I have a book called As a Man Thinketh by James Allen, which I love. So I read that book. Um, I listen to like ocean sounds and things just to, for motivation. So those are some of the, the basic things that I do. And then once I'm done with that and I prioritize that because I want to make that the beginning of my day. I wanna start off my day with that. Then I go upstairs and I make breakfast. And I really try to make sure that I'm intentional about um, making sure that I take my time and get up early enough so that I can do this for myself. So I make breakfast, um, I sit down, I eat my breakfast. I don't even come to my desk yet uh, because I, I'm like when you work from home you take away that time that you have when you're driving to get to work like just to kind of clear your head and create a space for productivity so I create that myself and I create it right now with sitting down I'll have a tea um, the tea that I'm drinking right now is fast lane by celestial seasoning because it's high in caffeine and um, and then I like the taste of acai and so I blend those two together and it's really good and I put honey and lemon delicious so that's my morning routine and so I do that because that is the space and I try to give myself about an hour for that that is the space that I give myself to get my head ready okay the second thing is to actually get dressed for work and I know that seems simple but um, there are people, because I've been in the work at home environment for a little while, there are people who actually don't get up and shower. They just kind of roll out of bed and log in and start work because they're in the house, especially during the coronavirus. And right now our, our county is in a stay at home mandate. We, we can only go out for like groceries, um, outside exercise, doctor's appointments, that's it. So we actually have to be in the house. And so Sometimes people take that moment, that opportunity to not brush their teeth, not take a shower. That is not okay. The mind needs, like, for me, and, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist nor a psychologist or anything like that, but for me, it matters a great deal what I do um, before I start working. And so I have to kind of dress the part. Most of the times I do have on leggings, and I almost always have on house shoes or flip-flops. But from the waist up, I really want to put on my makeup. I want to do my hair. I um, have on a shirt that I, I'd like to, I don't, I wouldn't mind recording in because I'm on conference calls all day. And so that matters a great deal. So getting up, brushing your teeth, choosing what you're going to wear for the day, 
um, like literally getting ready for the day is important. Okay, so that it's important for me. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, once you get down to your workstation, now it is time to actually engage. And so for me, there's several things that help me in the space of engagement. One is my calendar. Um, I have a calendar that I look at um, consistently that has both kind of the calendar, the the um, month, but it also has a to-do list on the right side. And those are things that I need to be, I need to have those done by the end of the week. Um, and then I have a little book here that I try to take notes in when I'm on calls and things like that. And that might be little things that I um, just need to remember. Um, my Outlook calendar on my work computer, that, computer that's really helpful so before I even like I get all logged in I have lighting um, I also have the the window I set up my desk so that I was in front of a window that's important I think because your work environment um, it kind of helps you with the energy of your day so I make sure that I sit in front of a window I have a lamp I have my plants I have my books and so I've set up an environment that's comfortable for me and I think that's important when you work from home. You have to have an environment that works for you with a plan and a process that works to make you um, as effective as you are on a daily basis in the building. You want to be that effective um, when you're at home. So that is tip number three. Tip number four, and this is really important. I think a lot of people don't do this, but you have to get up and you have to stretch your legs and you have to take breaks. You have to get up and you have to walk around because if you sit and just work, which it like it's kind of easy to do, um, then you're like you're not going to get the kind of movement that you need. And so, um, one of even though we're banned to kind of stay in our home, we can go outside to exercise. We just have to adhere to the um, to the social distancing um, kind of recommendations. And so. I have a beautiful um, like neighborhood. I can walk around the neighborhood. I intentionally made my office downstairs in the basement because I have to go upstairs to eat, I have to go upstairs to get water. Um, so you have to practice self-care. And part of that self-care is getting up and like walking away from your desk. And I know like sometimes we have meetings back to back to back because we're at home. Maybe sometimes the meetings are maybe more frequent than they would be if we were in the building. Um, no matter what, even if you have to place that on your calendar as an action item, you have to get up, you have to stretch your legs, and you have to go and walk and do something and just kind of clear your head so that you can come back for your next meeting and be ready for that. So that is tip number four. And then the last tip is just because you're at home, doesn't mean you need to work extra time sitting at your desk. At desk. So one of the things that you need to realize is home and like work and life balance. Work life balance is actually really important now because oftentimes when you work from home, you work more hours than you would have if you were in the building. And so when it is time for you to get off established for you, what is that? What's your last meeting of the day? What are your end of day activities that you need to do to close out? Do those things and then shut down and then go and do your life, whether it is sitting on your couch and watching a movie or going to cook dinner or whatever it is. Um, shut down just as if you were leaving your office. You want to leave your office, walk away. You don't want to be tied to your phone or to your, your computer all day, every day when you work at home because then you blend too much of your work and your life together and you don't have the balance that you need. So those are the five tips that I have for working at home. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, it is totally helpful for me right now. I am finding myself in some of the most productive times of my life, which is one of the benefits of having to be in the house. So hopefully that's helpful. And um, I would love it if you would like or subscribe. You can like this video. You can subscribe to my channel. You can even choose the bell notification in order to get uh, notified when I upload new videos. So until then, I will see you tomorrow.